Okay. <clears throat> We're gonna try and quick get this last primer here. Uh, anyone who's watching us, thank you for your time. I really appreciate it. So this is the Omega Ruins, and this is where the final primer is located. Uh, so we're going to go to our list now, and there's the Ruins. There's a mini game in here that we're not really concerned about here, and the odds of us getting it on the first try are, like, astronomical, and we're not going to get it. But we don't care about that. We're just here for the primer, okay? So, um, we're gonna get the chests. I think I should be able, you know, honestly, I'm not even sure. I'll make a save when we get in there. Or actually, you know what? I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna make a save right now because we've located it on the map. Also, uh, real quickly, uh, if anyone has stumbled on this and you don't know what's going on and haven't watched any of the previous playthroughs, uh, what we're doing here is Lulu is our main. Um, we start here where she normally starts and we brought her up to Lancet. And then we took her down through Thief and learned Steal and Use. While we're over here, we grab the spell, cure three, and holy. Then we went over and warped her over to where Waka was waiting for us, which was right here. I had Waka sitting here waiting for the moment that I wanted to bring Lulu over here. The main reason is we're just looking to get our plus fours. So like we get a plus four, Plus four, plus four, plus four. These late game areas have a lot of plus fours and we're just trying to beef Lulu up as best we can because everything in this run is going through her. <clears throat> um, everybody else is pretty much garbage. Uh, Waka has just gone on his own path, although we did teach him Lancet at the beginning. Same thing with Titus, just going along on his own path, but we did teach him Lancet. Uh, he doesn't even know Haste 2 yet, so it's not like, you know, he, he's pretty much, he's not very advanced. Uh, same thing with Waka, I mean, he's learned a couple, like we brought him up here to learn Lancet here, but really, he's just got a couple circles is all he's done here. We brought him into late game uh, Black Mage for the plus fours, you know, plus four, plus four, plus four. Those will pay dividends, I mean, because everything else is, you know, plus two, plus two, plus one, plus, well that one's plus three, that's pretty good. Plus two. Anyway, getting those plus fours and they're really easy to get, that's a pretty big deal. So we grabbed those for him because he was there. He does no flare, but I mean, probably he won't even use it once. There's, I mean, he's just not a mage. Uh, so, so Titus, we did, uh, like I say, um, we taught him Lancet here and then just pushed him through his own path. He's learned a couple circles, but you know, he just hasn't learned very much. Uh, Kamari, uh, we brought him down. He starts here. We brought him down to Mug so that we could warp Waka down here and learn Mug. And then we just followed, you know, into late game Thief because, you know, 
plus three. Plus four. Plus fours are a big deal. You know we really have done nothing with. She's the weakest member of the party. Probably even weaker than Kamari. Uh, we sat her here for a long time waiting to unlock this uh, level two until I felt like I had enough level two locks that it didn't matter anymore. And then I brought her up here to learn haste two. So we do have haste two. Just, it's just that Titus isn't there yet. You can get that really early in the game if you want to. It's kind of a big deal uh, for a couple bosses, but I mean, honestly, you don't need it. But uh, it, it does make it easier for a couple bosses if you're underpowered like we are here. Uh, Riku, you know, same thing. She's learned not much. We did teach her to spell and reflect. Reflect is the big one, because she's the only one that knows Reflect, and Reflect is useful in a couple boss fights. <clears throat> uh, and just generally, you know, Reflect can be useful. We didn't give her Holy. I haven't even used it. She's just, it's just mainly, uh, it's the path to some plus fours for her. She's right next door to it. There's no good reason to not teach her those plus fours. Uh, so there's that. And then Aaron, um, you know, his own path. He's actually advanced more than I would normally uh, thought he would be. Um, he's pretty much only been used against monsters that are weak to piercing, which is pretty much the only set of monsters that a mage can't do much against. Um, everybody else, Lulu can, you know, she can hit hard enough to get by, but against those piercing monsters, she just, magic just does not do much for you. In fact, sometimes the game punishes you severely for not bringing in a piercing weapon against them. Anyway, so that's what we got going on. Lulu is the motor that runs this. Uh, as far as uh, learning stuff, uh, she learns steel before we get Riku, honestly. And... Uh, she learns Keyword 3 before we lose Yuna, and she learns Holy run right around the Calm Lands. So you're doing 9,999 damage in the Calm Lands. It's, it's, you know, pretty early for damage cap, and, I mean, story damage cap. And to put that in perspective, Aaron, who's going to be the strongest, you know, hitter, uh, or damage dealer, not counting Lulu, is probably doing somewhere around, you know, 1400 max damage. Well, she's doing 10,000, so that's kind of a big difference. Uh, anyway, that's where we're at in the game. That's what this, this game that we're playing here is, is basically just uh, Lulu's the main. We're getting all the primers. We've gotten all 25 up to this point, and we just got done beating Unaleska. You can find that video on YouTube or on Twitch. Anyway, we got one more primer to go, and that one is hiding in those Omega Ruins. Now, this place is extremely uh high level end game dungeon um it's not like you know the monster arena caliber end game stuff uh but it's stronger than anything that you would fight um on your way to the final boss let's put it that way uh, there are going to be monsters in here that you would fight on the way to the final boss, but this is a post-game dungeon. It's pretty high-level stuff. We're not going to be able to do anything against anybody in here. Well, against most of the enemies in here. Um, so we're going to be using the flea command, basically. Um, and we're only here to get that primer. That's it. That's the only reason we're going here. We're going to go get the chest on the way. We're going to try, you know, we're going to try. We'll see what happens. Probably we get smoked, a monk who but we'll the try. Teachings was sentenced here. Oh, the traitor Omega, yeah? 
Omega's loathing of Yevon has turned him into a fiend. They say he liked it underground. We're not gonna fight that guy. Light. So he's here. We're not gonna find that guy. We're Scared. not gonna have anything to do with that guy. Not a chance. We're just here for the primer. Um. Uh, let's see here. Let's change our formation. This is the formation we were using against Unaleska, and uh, it's not typical for me to be using Arin, but Arin has the most hit points, so uh, he was pretty useful against her third form. Actually, you know, no, we're not gonna. If we would get an opportunity to steal some musk or something, we would probably do it. Um, or even like some petrify grenades. Wow, finding this guy down here is an extremely rare occurrence. Like, this guy is hard to find. Isn't that strange how that happens in games? Like, you farm a guy like this in a, in a late level game, and you look for him, and you look for him, and you look for him, and then, you know, now that we're not looking for him, he's just here, but when you're trying to find him, it's extremely difficult. Uh, if this is the guy I think it is, what he does is he, he retorts, when you attack him, he retorts with damage equaling that of the number of enemies that you have slain with that character. Like, so for example, Yuna, she has killed like so few people. We'll go ahead and we'll attack with her. And he'll retort with however many monsters that Yuna has killed, which is zero. <laughs> so Yuna's killed zero monsters. How about that? Uh, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna steal. Uh, Riku probably hasn't killed very many monsters either. Two hundred and thirty. That's pretty high. We're not gonna attack uh, him with Lulu because Lulu has killed a lot of monsters. Uh, Kamari has Mug. We're gonna try and steal with him. He has probably killed less than two dozen monsters. He's killed 50 people? I don't even know how that's possible. That's insane. Um, Waka hasn't killed very many people. He's killed 1,100 people? I can't believe that's true. Alright. Uh, that's enough. We're not going to let this guy creep up on us too far. I just kind of wanted to... You know... I guess it's, it would be interesting to see really quickly uh, just how many people Lulu has killed. thousand huh I thought it would be more I can't believe that Waka has killed a third as many people as Lulu that really boggles my mind that, sh that he's actually killed that many Again, uh, we do have that weapon on uh, Titus here, which is like, I mean, one of the
great weapons. You can get this weapon really quite early in the game. It's Sonic Steel. Uh, you can get it the first time you go through Makalania Forest and Makalania Woods, whatever. Uh, you can buy it from Owaka towards the end of that, uh, like right before you fight the monster where you get that Jek Sphere. Um, it's like that water shape-shifting thing. Uh, you can buy this weapon from Owaka right before that fight. And what it allows is for you to get the first... You get to go first in every battle. So long as you keep that on him, Titus gets to go first, or at least your party. Sometimes, for some re reason, Riku will actually get the first turn, but you get to go first. Uh, that's a huge deal. Especially in a place like this where we don't have any business being here. Zero. Uh, I am kind of concerned. Um, so when we open these chests over here, uh, we're either going to get the item or we're going to have to fight something. And... We do not want to fight something. So what we're doing here, since we're here, and we are leaving after this, is we're going to try and steal from monsters that have valuable items, like Musk, for example. If we get the opportunity, we're going to go ahead and steal that stuff before we run away. Uh, I mean, we could kill some of the enemies in here, but honestly, we don't want them to attack. Like, if they attack, we're probably going to die. So, we're just going to try and not deal with that. The problem with this is, like, we, okay, so these chests, right? We're either going to get the item that's in the chest, or we're going to have to fight a Mimic. And a Mimic is a pretty strong monster. Uh, they can do, like, I think they have, like, 40,000 hit 40, points or something. So they're quite formidable. Yeah, that mage guy right there, I don't know if I can steal anything from him, but he's really strong. But these other two... Uh, I should be able to steal something useful from them. I don't remember if you can steal anything from the mage. But we're not gonna, though the, the turn order didn't allow us to even bother trying. Okay, uh, yeah, turn order does not allow us to even bother trying, so we're just gonna leave. That's one of the most dangerous formations on this level. Uh, this dungeon has two levels. Well, there's two levels, but there's there's two sections, I guess. And then there's, you know, we're in section one, and then there's section two. Uh, within section one, that's where all of the chests are at that we're going to be, you know, trying to open. And the... All right, so... I think you just get fire gems from these guys, but we're still going to try and steal. So there is actually good stuff to steal in this dungeon. Um, it's just that... I've never come here when I was this week. I mean, we're asking for trouble being here with this... Um, with the team that we have right here. I mean, we don't, we're not, we're not. We 
we can't we can't be here like we can't survive a battle like if the monsters get to go we're screwed I don't even know if I can beat a minute I, I mean I can deal damage to a minute but I don't know this guy holy cow this guy Yeah, I need to get out of here. This guy's a pretty rare find down here. He's like more of like a section two guy. It's kind of weird that, you know, our first trip down here, we've got two really, you know, rare finds, rare encounters, I should say. Um, I will be shocked absolutely shocked if we are able to get past these three without running into a mimic. The odds of that are very slim. I'm surprised we haven't run into one yet. Yeah, here's a mimic. So we'll probably die here. I don't think we can flee. Oh, we can! Okay. Well, alright. So, we do, but we lose access to the rest of those chests. So, actually, we should be able to get that... Uh, we should be able to get that... Um, that primer. We should be able to make it in and out without, without dying. We should be able to. If we can run away from the mimic, then we should be. We should be okay. That was what I wasn't sure about, and what I was mainly concerned about. This guy again? Like, this guy is. You know, you'll fight him in the final dungeon of the storyline like right before you fight the final boss. Um, and he is uh, one of the more rare encounters in the first section of this dungeon. And what I'm saying is you'll, you'll encounter him more frequently in the, in section two. Oh, these guys, yeah, th this is, we are not prepared to deal with these guys. Not in the slightest bit. I think I can steal far plane stuff from him. Far plane wind? Is that right? Is that right? And I could probably steal uh, a good chunk of petrify grenades from that guy there. But we don't want that mimic to open up that box because if he does, we're, we're probably done for. Two of these guys, I mean, give me a break, bro. No chance. I don't think I have gotten a single achievement this playthrough yet, which is kind of weird. I think they should have. I'm surprised. I mean, the odds of this, we've only run into one non chest so far. Uh-oh. This guy, annihilate the party. I think this is the Grand Marlboro. Great Marlboro. Highest. This guy's like the big brother of the guy that you'll find in the Calm Lands. And that guy's bad enough as it is. We're doing really, 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 really well on those chests. So this dungeon is there's a mini game with those chests, 
And um, so what the deal is with those is uh, all right, I'm gonna try and see what I get from this guy. Okay. Uh oh. Okay, I will not do that again. We're lucky that our game is not over. Extremely lucky. Anyway, there's a mini game with these chests that are in here, and I think there's a dozen of them in here, something like that. And uh, I am, however, if I get the opportunity, gonna try and steal from those dark elementals. They uh, you can get something called a shining thorn from them, and uh, it's actually really, really, really useful in uh, a couple of Riku's mixes for her overdrive. Like, it's a pretty kick-ass item. These guys... I don't remember what you steal from them, but there's something good, I think. So there should be two more sets, or is it just one more set? Let's see, we've gotten one, two, three, four, five, six, seven out of eight. Nine, 10, 11, 12. No, this is it, up here. This is the last section, the last set of chests. Which is crazy, we've only missed one so far. If you get them all, you get 99 warp stones, which... Okay, so our primer should be laying on the floor right around here somewhere. Let's see it. Wow, dude, that is like one of the most. This is the best I've ever done. I've never, I've never got that many before. Never, not, I've never got that many. I got 11 out of 12. That is freaking insane, dude. Cactuar Wizard is the weapon that Lulu has right now. Uh, to my knowledge, this is one of like two or three ways to get it. The other one is, well, the way we got hers, which is to, you can farm the the keeper at the top of Gagazet Mountain, Mount Gagazet. And uh, he'll, he has a chance to drop that weapon for her. <coughs> But now we got two of them, so that means we can customize a second weapon for her if we wish. 
which is pretty freaking awesome. I want to find out what the heck that Wormonger is, because I have never got the Wormonger. I have tried, I have grinded this dungeon for hours and hours and hours, because there's an achievement for getting all of them. And you also get those 99 warp stones. But I've never got 11. I've never got 11. I don't even know who can equip the war monitor. <laughs> Look at that. So it's the one you can get from here. Or maybe it has an option, but it's only got one slot. The one that we got from our drop had three slots. I want to say the Warmonger is for Riku. No. Or maybe it's for... Waka. the worm longer. We got this here. That's okay. It looks better than it is. <coughs> okay, so what the hell is the worm longer? pretty solid. We're not going to use it, but not bad. Now where is our... It should be right around here. Our, uh, our primer should be in this room. It should be in the room with the four chests. This is the room with the four chests. Well, what the heck? Where is it at? Normally, the the way to come down here would be. Uh, no encounters equipment. <coughs> well, what the heck? Where is our, uh... It should be right next to the chest. Maybe I'm just misremembering, but I'm pretty sure it was... Down here, by the chests. I don't want to run around this place. I mean, we, we got really, really far. Alright, I'm just going to go, like, really slow around that room where that circle of chests was. This guy... <coughs> You can get a really, really good drop from this guy. It's a really tough grind, um, but you can get a really good drop from him. Um, whoever lands the killing blow, you, you have a better odds of them getting the drop. But, I don't remember if it's a weapon or armor. but you can get something really good from them. Where the hell is my primer at? Don't tell me there's like some BS secret to getting it. Like, you know. There it is. 
I was looking for a sphere, you know, like a jet sphere, but it's more, it's more like a book. All right, there it is. Primer number 16. That should be an achievement, man. Where's my achievement? Whatever, dude. I feel like I got ripped off. I should have an achievement for that. You telling me that you don't get an achievement for getting all 26 primers? Maybe I have to uh, go to uh, a thing and compile my data to get the achievement. Like, one of Rin's... Uh... Dude, I can't believe I got 11 out of 12 of those chests. Do you know what? I just, I, I can't even explain to you what the odds of that are. And if I had gotten all 12 of those chests, I mean, dude, I don't remember. Oh yeah, 99 warp stones, yeah. I was one away from 99 warp stones, one away. I think the best I've ever done, well, I think I've got the Cactuar Wizard once before. I think that's the best I've ever done. That's the best you can realistically hope for. Musk is a really valuable commodity. Um, I'm pretty sure it gives you, um, if you have enough of them, you can make a, you can add a immunity to confuse to a piece of armor. And uh, as we approach the final dungeon, um, yeah, we're not going to try and do that. There's a special chest. And I, I, I'm just, we're not doing that. It's just, a, it's not any part of that minigame. It's just another item, and I, we're not doing that right now. I just want to get the heck out of this place. Yeah, we're not. I'm not going to mess around with this. If it's plain that I can get, you know, a steal attempt in... I'll probably try that, but I can't believe I got 11 out of 12 of those chests on my first attempt, and the only reason I'm here is to get that primer. That's, <sighs> that's just nuts. It's the best I've ever done. I've never got the warmonger before. And I, I've tried, I, I, I don't even know how many times. Hours, hours. I spent grinding that mini game. It's just RNG and it stacks. So every time that you get farther down the way, you know, your odds get more and more slim, you know? Because it's a 50-50 chance every time you open a box whether or not you're going to get the item or the mimic. And if you get a mimic, then you forfeit all remaining chests in that grouping. So like for example, the first two that we open, there's two chests. You have the 50-50 chance to get a mimic or, or the item in the first chest. If you get the item, then you get to go again or then, then you have, the, then you get to try and open the second chest, and you get a 50/50 chance to get the item or a mimic. Um, once you get to the third one, you know, then you don't, you would only forfeit what would be in that chest if you get the mimic. But still, uh, they stack. The odds become in, insurmountable, basically. Um, if you want to go by the law of averages, um, the law of averages would say that if you attempt it something like 200 some times, 
uh, one of those times, you should get all 12. But, you know how RNG works, and just because the odds dictate that it's like one out of one, 200 and, I don't know what the number is, 240, 212, I, I don't remember, but it's, I believe it's 200 and something. Um, you know, you can get lucky and get it on the first try. And you can get unlucky and you can try for 5,000 attempts and never get it. So, RNG is a funny thing that way. But we got beyond lucky. I'm pretty sure you can steal a Tetra Elemental from this guy. He's like one of two people in the game you can get Tetra Elemental from. Uh, one of them being... Seymour at Bavel. The first time you run into Morda body or whatever the, the... If you don't have Reflect for that fight, you're screwed pretty much. I mean, there's ways around it, but... That fight is pretty brutal if you don't have Reflect. It's bad. It's a tough fight. I'd love to try and steal from this guy, but I'm just gonna get out of this dungeon and make a save. I still can't believe I got 11 of those chests. That, it just goes to show that my theory, once again, is uh, playing out in real life. So I have a theory when it comes to uh, video games, and my theory is this. The first time that you attempt something, is like so when you're playing a game through um, and you attempt something once the very first time and I'm not talking about like multiple playthroughs the game you know like you play a game through you beat the game then you try it again you know you play the game through again it's not the first time anymore the, the game develops a memory and uh, my theory states that the first time that you go through the game, um, the odds of having things that the RNG would dictate to be rare occurrences, um, the RNG doesn't apply the first time. In fact, it, it's actually inverted and um, the rare occurrences are far more likely to happen the very first time that you play a game. I don't know why that is, but I believe it to be completely and totally true and that over time it plays out over and over and over again. Um, I don't know why that is. I don't know if the game just needs to set a baseline or something like that. I don't understand why it works that way. But it... It works that way. And this dungeon, if you play on the PlayStation 2 version of the game, uh, the first time you enter the dungeon, uh, it, it kind of sets some things in stone for you, uh, which can be pretty brutal as far as attempting to try and get all those chests in that minigame. But anyway, it's forever lost. You can't, I don't believe you can try it more than once. Once you. Once you collect the chests, that's it. All right, so we got our uh, we got our primer. Um, I'm gonna go try and see if I can talk to Rin and see if uh, if he if if I can get that achievement. Lady Yuna has become quite the summoner. A gentle nature, yet strong as steel. 
she reminds me of her parents. Yuna's old man was a priest of Yevon, but he married an Albed, huh? Lord Braska wanted peace between his people and ours. He would occasionally visit the home of those days. So that's how he met Sid's sister? They ran off together, into the night. Hmm, <laughs> sounds like love. Wow, <laughs> Sid must have been furious. Yes, he wouldn't talk to her after that. But when Yuna was born, they made up again. His sister took off for home at once. But then her ship. Sin. That incident turned Lord Braska down the summoner's path. Everything leads back to Sin. But you'll put an end to it. With a vengeance. I pray for your success. If there's anything I can help you with in the future, just ask. Hey, sir. We talked. Janoku. Weeraja fam may not win Dukia. Eiko, who do we goof for now? Dat reg drat show funt lusa, drid falum timgu, edix wowig in hot. Hey, sribidu. Rana in the card, du lukne dimida winchelag. There you go. Drigwin. May I help you? All right. Thank so you. well, he might have uh, he might have more Thank items you. or weapons for you once you do that. I don't remember. Underdog's secret. I don't remember what you do. With, what you use those for? Thank you. Your patronage is very other than much mixing, but something. All right. I gotta go find. Uh, what would be the easiest place to find a sphere to compile my? Um, all right, Kilka, no, Luca, Highland, High Road, um, uh, Moonfall, Quite a Long, Thunder Plain, Lake Makalani. Maybe Lake Makalania. No, oh, yeah. High Bridge. Homelands. Mega. Gagazette. Xanarkin. Um. So, here's the thing I gotta be careful where I go because there are these super enemies or super bosses called Dark Aeons scattered throughout the world now. And if I go to the wrong place, I'll encounter one of them, and it's, it's, I can't do anything as it pertains to those guys. I'll just get absolutely slaughtered. Um, is this where home is at? I think so. Lake Makalania. I'm trying to think. So there is a Rin's agency here. But I don't know where it warps me to. Oh, right here. All right, fantastic. How is that not an achievement? You don't get an achievement for doing that, or what? Or maybe I got it, but it didn't show it?
I just don't understand how that's not an achievement to get all of those. Uh... I just don't understand. That's not an achievement. Whatever. Uh... Interesting, I did get it, but uh, it just maybe it's because I'm streaming those achievements don't pop up while I'm doing a stream. I guess that's possible. I just never got the notification, or maybe I just have to change the settings in... No, that, that shouldn't be it either. I don't know, I'll have to play around with something, but I went in and I looked in the game and it, it said I unlocked it on 6-26-2022, which is today. It just turned over to 626. 626 is Sunday. And it is Sunday where I live. As of about 15 minutes ago or so. 17 minutes ago. So I don't know why I didn't get the little uh, notification on my screen. But anyway. That's all 26, all 26 such uh, primers and uh, whoops. So the next thing to do would be to, uh, we're gonna go ahead and um, advance in the storyline. Which, in this point, uh, since we haven't gone around looking for any secret places other than the Omega Ruins, uh, it's really easy to know where you gotta go, because it's the only place we haven't been. Or, or we've been to High Bridge before, but it says New, so uh, we're gonna go to there, the place that says New. Here we go. And uh, I think that's where we talk to Micah. I don't think there's a battle here. I think we just talked to Micah. There'll be that woman that that uh, woman who's dressed in green who likes to like heal you and stuff sometimes she's kind of a mousy little girl actually she's not a little girl but a mousy young woman uh, she's very nice and kind and just a good person she's a likable character unlike these infidel Ass clowns. These guys ever give up? You regret showing your face here. We'll strike you down in the name of Yevon. <sighs> blah, blah, blah. Yeah, so guys. If they want to fight, let's give them one. Prepare to charge. Stop! Captain? There she is. Lady Yuna is not to be harmed. She's no traitor. That is an evil rumor spread by the Albed. What? <laughs> Mr. Mika himself told me. Then what are we to do? Stand down. As she says. What was that about evil Albed? I truly, I do not understand it myself. Oh, Yevon seems to be in a state of confusion. Why, yesterday... 
They called me out of the blue and made me captain of the guard. <laughs> Short on believers. Yes, the chaos in the temples is worse than I'd imagined. It's horrible. And all the priests do is blame each other. I worry what will become of Yevon. But no! I must be the rock that stands against the swirling tides, right? <laughs> Lady Yuna, I must tell you, your courage has been a great inspiration to me. Yeah, that's great, but we came here to see Maester Micah. Is he here? Y yes, uh, I shall arrange an audience. Please wait in the courtroom. Hey! Hey! Wait! What was all that about the Albed lying and stuff? Simple. Yuna has become Micah's only hope. Oh. Okay. Just what does he think he can get away with? Time to teach him some manners. Yes, let's. Why are you here? You must go and defeat Sin quickly. You have obtained the final Aeon from Unaleska, have you not? Well, we <laughs> did meet her. We fought and defeated her. What? Summoners and guardians will be sacrificed for the final summoning no more. You have profaned and subverted a thousand-year-old tradition. Fools! Infants! Do you realize what you've done? You've taken away the only means of calming sin. Hey, maybe that's not the only way. We think we've got another. Why? Preposterous! There is no other way! The Grand Maester running away. Spira has lost its only hope. Destruction is inevitable. You Yevon's spiral of death will consume us all. I have no desire to watch Spira die. It won't die. Who is this you Yevon guy? Lady Unaleska also mentioned him. Wait, Gramps! Who's you, Yevon? <laughs> Gramps. He who crafts the souls of the dead into unholy armor. An armor called Zen. Clad in it, you, Yevon, is invincible. And the only thing that could have pierced that armor, you have destroyed! Nothing can stop it now. He sends himself. <laughs> I forgot about that. Disappear on us, will you? Rotten son of a shupa. Rotten son of a shupa. Where, where is the Grand Maester? He, um. He's not here yet. How long must we wait? That's odd. I'll go look for his grace. It's you. Come to my room. Okay. Who are you talking to? Oh, uh, no one. I must go see the Faith. <laughs> I see. Thank you for the Aeon. So what's up? So, have you found a way to truly defeat Sin? Well... Well, come see me when you do. Okay, well let's do that over so, again. So, have you found a way to truly defeat Sin? Well... 
Well, why do they even give us the option? What's the point of that? We fight you, Yevon. Yes. If you defeat you, Yevon, it will end. Tell me, what do you know about you, Yevon? He's what makes Sin come back. Sin is his armor. It protects him. Yu Yevon was once a summoner long ago. He was peerless. Yet now he lives for one purpose, only to summon. He is neither good nor evil. He is awake, yet he dreams. But maybe not forever. Yeah, that's right. Because we're ending it. Yes. Even if you defeat Sin with the final summoning, Yu Yevon will live. Yu Yevon will join with the final Aeon. He will transform it into a new Sin. Yu Yevon merges with the Aeon. Then, protected by this new Sin he has created, Yu Yevon continues the summoning. For eternity. Huh? But you know there is no such thing as eternity if you end it, is there? Uh-huh. Yu Yevon lives inside Sin. Yuna, listen. When you fight Yu Yevon, we will help you. Promise me you'll summon us. I'm afraid your swords and magic won't be enough. Please call us. Promise? Yes. But you know... When it is all over... We will wake, and our dream will end. Our dream... Will vanish. Yeah. You've been dreaming a long time, haven't you? I'm sorry. I'm grateful. About what? Oh, that's right, she doesn't know. Oh, nothing. Hey, don't make that face. Come on, we're gonna beat Sin. Uh, let's see some I'm cheer, okay? I'm not even sure if okay? Aaron knows, actually. You're hiding something. Maybe he knows, I don't know. I'm not. Really? No, he's lying. Don't lie, Titus. Lying is no good. Just don't lie. You're Just tell the liar. truth, man. You know? I... I'm afraid the Grand Maester is nowhere to be found. It's okay. We were just leaving. <laughs> oh, I see. Hey! Maybe you could help us with the hymn. Hey, good idea! It's like... We need you to tell as many people as you can. What should I tell them? A ship in the sky will sing the hymn of the faith. When they hear it, we need everyone to sing along. Everyone in Spira. I'm not sure I understand. You don't have to. Just tell everyone. A ship in the sky will sing the hymn of the faith? So, when they hear it, everyone should sing along, correct? If they do, we might be able to defeat Sin. Truly? Yes. That's the one spot That's I'm not sure about. You can count on me. I there shall is tell one us. battle that I'm concerned about. Um, I'm not sure if I'll be fast enough. But we'll see. I think I'll be all right. All right. Um, let's make a save, and I think I'm gonna make this be the end of the stream here. 
But I want to see what happens if I talk to Sid. I say, let's get this show on the road. Yeah, okay. Okay, yep. Okay. So, we will continue with, uh... that their location next time that <sighs> next time I stream probably tomorrow afternoon but anyway I just want to thank everybody for your time and I hope you had a good time and I definitely have and uh, we still have a fair amount of work cut out for us uh, I kind of am curious to see if I have enough high pillow potions to make a oh, I have a zombie proof so there's that that's pretty cool um uh, I've got a confused word, but not confused proof. See, the thing is, I don't know how many of these things cost. I know that stone proof is 60, and I know that stone ward, well, I think stone, I guess, stone ward, who cares? Stone ward is, is not worth my time, but stone proof is 60, but you can put a, uh, st no, I'm sorry, stone strike is 60, but stone proof is only 20. Stone Ward is probably only like if Stone Proof is twenty, a Stone Ward is probably ten. But uh, Stone Strike, which is uh, the next time I do a stream or the next time I I, I do another game of this game, uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna make Walk of the Main and. Uh, We'll have Stone Strike early in the game, and it'll actually be quite a lot easier than this one. I mean, we'll fly through everything because I mean, he'll just he'll one shot everything. Until we get like pretty far in the game. Uh, anyway, that's that's for a different a different game. That's probably the, the easiest. I've not done it before. What I'm going to do. What I'm going to do is I'm going to teach Waka Mug uh, as early as possible. The first level 2 sphere lock. And I don't remember where you get the first level 2 lock. Ugh. I don't remember where you get the first level 2 lock. But... Uh, as soon as we have access to a level 2 lock, um, oh man, I don't, I really don't remember when that is, when you get the first level 2 lock, um, not that far into the game, but, uh, at that point you can get mug, and once you have mug, uh, if you have mug and you have so basically when you beat mushroom rock the next stage here I'll show you on the map here so the final showdown it's not in specific order here but it's kind of okay so after you beat Lo uh, Luca, you get the high road, okay? And at the end of the high road is Mushroom Rock. After Mushroom Rock is the Josie high road or D Joe's. I think it's Josie high road. That location has a monster. I think they're called Anaconda, but I'm not 100% sure. Anyway, if you have been watching all of these, 
Um, in the Calm Lands, when I first died to those two anaconda-looking snakes that have the sonic tail, um, they're that same sprite, basically. Only they're kind of like a cream color, like a yellowish cream color monster. Um, anyway, they have like Stone Gaze, I think is the name of the attack, but you can steal petrify grenades from them. And that's, I believe, to my knowledge, unless I'm forgetting something, uh, or if I don't know about it, that's possible too. Um, they're, they're, that, to me, to my knowledge, is the first place that you can get a petrify grenade. Now, typically, uh, you can't... Um, you don't have Riku yet. And probably you don't have the Steel Command. Even if you took Lulu, well, you might have the Steel Command. You might. I don't remember how fast you can get to Steel. But, uh... Because... Even if you have the level 2 lock, you know, I take Lulu up to Lance at first. So I'm using those points in the sphere grid to get up there. So here, I'll show you on the, on the sphere grid real quick. Um, so what I do is I start with Lulu and I take her up to Lancet. So these are all points that I have to basically learn on the way up there. And these are points I'm spending. And early on, you know, I mean, you don't get that many points. It takes a while because what you're fighting is, like, really, really low. You know, they don't give you that much experience. So you're not really advancing very far, you know. And so to get this many points, to get this far along the way, uh, you know, that, that takes a while. And you don't get steel until you get here, okay? Well, you can get mug probably quicker than you can get steel because... If you're Waka, you start right down here. So I think it's a level one lock that you have to open right here. And then to, from there, you just simply go right down here. And I think this is a level two. I guess technically you could use Lulu to do it too, but... Um, I don't know. I think it's a fool's errand not to teach Lulu Lancet because, you know, magic is so hard to come by as far as, like, being able to, like, replace it. Ethers, you can't buy ethers, and they're hard to acquire. There's not that many. I mean, in this game, what do I have? I've got, like, maybe half a dozen ethers, and I haven't used that many of them. I probably use less than a dozen ethers. They're just hard to come by. So they heavily restrict your ability to use magic uh, outside of, you know, replenishing your magic point pool at uh, a sphere grid, or uh, at a safe sphere. Um, so not getting Lancet for Lulu is, you know, I just would consider that a fool's errand, considering how close it is. I mean, you don't have to, you don't have to slow down your progress that much, and there's nothing that's very strong early in the game, so there's really no point to not do that, to, to teach her Lancet. Um... But I, th I think it's this one right here, or maybe it's this one right here. Uh, one of these two, I believe, is a level two lock. So if you just take Waka, you just bring him around the corner, and you're at that level two lock. Once that level two lock up, you know, you're a stone's throw away, and you got Mug right here, okay? Why he has Mug is because of Kamari. I brought Kamari down here, and then I warped Waka down here, and then warped him back to where he came from. I don't know, somewhere in here, so that he can learn Mug. But if you learn Mug with Walker early on, which I've never done this before, but I'm going to do it next time I play this game, uh, I'm going to learn Mug early on. And so learning Mug, you're stealing whatever, you know, stuff that you would not be able to steal early in the game typically. And uh, if you steal those Petrify Grenades, you can add Stone Strike to your weapon super early. So every time that you attack a monster, they die. There's, I mean, that's going to one-shot pretty much everything you run into except for some bosses. 
uh, all the way until you get past the calm lands. Basically, you're gonna be one shot in everything with this guy, but you're stealing every time that you one shot them because you automatically you're guaranteed a first steal. You will always have a successful steal your first attempt. You may not get a rare steal, you may get a common steal, but you're gonna get one of the two every time. So every guy that he kills, he's not only killing them, he's stealing from them. So you're acquiring massive amounts of items that you can use to create armor and weapons while you're just making your way through the game. You don't even have to grind past, I mean, you have to grind out those, uh, those initial 60 stone uh, petrifier grenades. That's going to take a little bit of time, not a whole lot. But actually, in the grand scheme of things, um, I think it would probably take less time to one-shot everything you encounter than it would, and you know, just go through the game one-shotting everything, uh, than it would to play through the normal progression of those battles, uh, than it would to, you know, grind out those 60 petrify grenades and then just one-shot everything from there on out. I think it would still be faster to do it that way. Uh, than to play the game out normally. Um, and when I say normally, you know, using Lulu, because I typically use Lulu as my primary. And, you know, the the way everybody levels is always a little bit different every game. Um, usually Titus is not nearly as strong. I don't know how I managed to get him as, you know, as good as he is. Usually he's lagging behind. Uh, but anyway... Um, yeah, that's what I'm going to do next time I do this, and uh, that's going to be a fun game. I've never done that before, but that's going to be super fun, um, because I'll be able to acquire a lot of really kick-ass stuff super early that normally I wouldn't be able to get until I come back later and start farming it. But I'll just be collecting it along the way, which will be super kick-ass. Anyway... Uh, thank you for your time. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day, and I will, Lord willing, see you tomorrow.